Hello everyone, my name is Holly and we will be working on a, a reading activity called Pilotless Planes. So have you, would you ever fly in a, pl a plane that does not have a pilot? So that is what we will be working on today. We will quick, quickly uh, quiz ourselves to see how much we know about, pi about planes and flying and then we will uh, work on some vocabulary and then read an article together. And once we do that, then we will go over vocabulary again and then practice those words. Um, and that is what we will do. Um, so this is basically the, the plan for today. So I hope to see all of you as we talk about pilotless planes. And my name is Holly, and I am the trainer for this hour, or one of them at least. And um, I'm originally, I'm originally from the United States, and I'm living in the state of Idaho, and have lived in other countries as well. Hello, Adela. How are you? Hi again, Fernando. Hey, how are you? Good. Very good. So, hi, Jose. Adela, are you there? She's probably working on getting her computer set up. Jose? Hello, Holly. Hi, Adela. Hello, Holly. Hello. Hello. So, um, how's life in Spain for both of you? Uh, in uh, Spain, the uh, is the time is uh, 11 p.m. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a cold day. Even yep. in Valencia. <laughs> oh, really? It was cold. Oh, wow. Okay. In Spain, in general, see, in Valencia, not not uh, enough, but um, mm -hmm. it's. Uh, a little cold. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. Yeah, and and you guys eat dinner late, right, in Spain? Yes. Yeah. <coughs> okay. So you so if I if I correct you in Spain you guys eat anywhere between 8 p.m. and 11 p.m. Does that mean you guys start the do you guys do you guys usually start work later as well? Is it like 9 or 10? Or when does it, when does you usually have to be at the office? Um, uh, it depends. But uh, for example, uh, I finish uh, um, at at the moment to the uh -huh. dinner because I finish uh, on the gym ten uh -huh. ten p.m. Wow. Yes. Uh, it's. Uh, the timetable or the schedule is uh, a little different. Yeah. So, what time do you go and go to work in the morning, though? I, I for I am for example, uh, my timetable or my uh, normal journey is um, eight a.m. I start uh -huh. to teach. Oh wow! And, okay. I finish at uh, 2, uh, okay. 2 p.m. 2 p.m., okay. It, it's, it's interesting because it's just a different uh, eating schedule than I've ever heard before. So I've, mm -hmm. I've, I've been intrigued by Spain. So hello again, Ozma. So, and yeah. Fernando. And Ho Jose. Well, everybody, in case you don't know everybody, this is Adela yeah. from Spain. This is Asma from Tunisia, but she's living in Qatar. And then we have Fernando from Colombia, but he's living in Virginia, right? Did I get that right? Yes. Okay. And then we have Jose, who's also from Spain. So, and okay. I'm sure hopefully more people will, will come. If not, we have a nice small class for you guys to practice. So this is great. So the topic we have for today is pilotless planes. So, um, so first question is how much do you know about flying? But be before we read this, okay, 
Does everybody know what pilotless planes would mean? Plane without pilot? Yeah, so Ozma, would you feel comfortable flying in a plane without a pilot? No. <laughs> I don't think, no. And for me, it's something uh, weird, and uh, I think that I will feel uh, worried. Uh huh. Okay, you would feel worried about it? Yeah. Okay. And, and how about you, um, Jose? Would you feel comfortable flying in a plane without a pilot? I uh, never have uh, have uh, have shown uh, anything any any pilotless plane. It's mm -hmm. the first time that uh, I heard about about pilot pilot uh, plane. Okay, this is your first time. Okay. It's my first time. I yeah. don't know anything about. Oh, uh, these these yeah. subjects. Yeah, exactly. I had never heard about it until I found this yes. material a couple months ago. So, um, Fernando, how about you? Would you ever fly in a plane a plane that doesn't have a pilot? No, but I would like to try. <laughs> okay, so you would. Okay, uh, Adela, how about you? Would you fly in a plane without a pilot? Um, no, uh, I don't like uh, because uh, if uh, uh, you have a pilot, um, maybe I say uh, pilot don't don't pilot <laughs> because they have an automatic. No, uh, this is sometimes is the is, uh -huh. is the plane uh, have the have a way no on yes, the sky. Yes, autopilot. Yes. But um, uh, it's uh, it's safety for me to to see a pilot, yeah. <laughs> uh, because if the technology uh, failed, uh, I think uh, there are a person to 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 pilot the plane. Mm -hmm. Maybe I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Okay. Heidi, how about you? Welcome. Any by the way. Yeah, Hello. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. <laughs> It's it's quite morning early for you, isn't it? Uh, no, it's seven. Seven. Okay. Seven. All right. So, so Heidi, would you fly in a plane without a pilot? Uh, no. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, only amusement park. <laughs> <laughs> amusement parks, you will. Okay. Um, that's a good. Uh, that's a good answer. <laughs> How about would you? <coughs> excuse me. Have you guys heard about the Google Car? It yes. Has, would you would you write in that? No, but I heard that this is a car with um, many cameras. Mm -hmm. um, can sense the other car on the street, and and the person who who, who made that car said that was a mistake uh, in bed first the the cars, and then the computers. Uh -huh. <laughs> so they. Sh because they because he th he think that the there will wouldn't be accident mm -hmm. if the computers drive drives the cars. Oh, okay. So the, we should have invented computers first, and then cars, and yeah. then we'd have computers drive us everywhere. Interesting. <laughs> so, have the rest of you heard about the the driverless car? So it's it's kind of amazing. But anyway, we'll talk about pilotless planes this time and maybe another class, driverless cars. So, okay, so let's circle the correct answer. Okay, um, I, let's have everybody guess uh, these answers and we'll see who is right. First one, Adela, when was the Wright brothers' first flight? Um, I... I don't know, uh, but is the first uh, to 19, uh, maybe 1901 or 1903, maybe. Uh, okay. Okay, let's go over how you would say that year. We would say 19... 1903. Uh, oh. 
1903. 1903. 1903. 1903. That, that is your guess? Okay. Asma, what yeah. is your guess? Uh, I don't have any clue. <laughs> no idea. No, no guess at all. Okay. No. All right. And Fernando, do you have a guess? Yes, I um, agree that is 1903. Oh, 1903. Heidi, what is your guess? Yeah, I think so. Oh, 1901. 1901, okay. And then, uh, Jose, what is your guess? My guess is 19... Uh, 1903. 1903. Okay, so everybody who guessed 1903, you got it right. So, all right, next one. When was the first nonstop flight between New York and Paris? So, Adela, what is your guess? Oof. I don't know. Um, New York, Paris. Um, uh, maybe, maybe um, I think it's a long distance. Maybe 1951. 1951, okay. I, I don't and know. Of course, we're all guessing on this one. Uh, so, Asma, do you have a guess? Any guess? Asma? Uh, okay. <laughs> any, any guess on this one? Yeah, 1951. 1951 is your guess, okay. Fernando, mm -hmm. what is your guess? 1927. 1927, okay. And Heidi, what is your guess? Uh, Lindbergh. Uh, 1927. Okay. And Jose, what is your guess? 1951. Okay, so it's between 1927 and 1951, and the 27s have it. <laughs> so, 1927. I would have also chosen probably one of these later ones, 32 or 51. But Okay, next one. When was Concorde's first commercial flight? 76, 81, 88, or 91? Adela, what is your guess? <laughs> Uh, the Concord. Yeah. And he was uh, after uh, the first commercial flight. Uh, maybe um, uh, 19, 1981 or 19, um, well, 1981. Okay, yes. 1981's yours. Asma, what's your guess? Mm. Uh, 1976. Uh, 76. 76, okay. Fernando, what's your guess? Mm, 1976. Okay. Heidi, what is your guess? 1976. 1976, okay. And Jose, what's your guess? Yes. My guess is 1976. 1976 uh, is correct. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. But did are, are they still flying, or did they stop after the the big crash they had? Does anybody yeah. know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, don't. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, I think it's not uh, in this moment. Don't fly. Yeah, because they they had that big but, uh, airline they, crash. But they had a plans to to return uh, to to another uh, put uh, on the air because it's uh, is uh, was good, but mm -hmm. the problem uh, okay. was so, very important. Yeah, so they they had plans to they have plans to put get the Concorde back up prob probably with a new model, but right now they have not done it yet. Okay, 
So they have. You would say they have plans. They have plans to uh, bring bring it back up. Okay. Let's match the words with its correct meaning. So we have the words initially, the norm, classy, to rely, to relieve, feasible, and reluctant. So let's see if we can match these uh, to their meanings. And I am going to put a number on these because it, make, it makes it easier to do this. Um, so let's start with uh, Jose. Can you read the first line on the other side and match that? Okay. Initially. Initially. This side right here. Mm. Read right here. Ah. Uh, to trust someone or something to do what is required. Yeah. And what would that be? The label. Okay. Um, actually, it's to rely. 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 To rely. To rely. rely. Yeah. Okay. To rely. Okay. And. Rely. This is a verb, and the ones with two, that's that's all also a verb, so that makes it easy. So, okay, Heidi, can you read the next one? Mm -hmm. The next one? Ah, something not possible. Mm. Uh, feasible. Feasible, yes. If something is possible, it is feasible. All right. And um, Fernando, can you read the next one? Um, style, stylish, um, fashionable, uh, classy. Classy, yes. All right. And Asma, can you read the next one? Mm -hmm. I'm willing to do something. Um, Reluctant? Yes, reluctant. Okay, and then um, uh, Heidi, I mean, excuse me, Adela. Uh, to make a pain or a problem less rather. Uh, Relievable. Really Le relieve, exactly. Relieve. Relieve, okay. And um, Fernando, number the next one. Uh, at the start of a plan, process, or situation. Uh, initially. Initially. Excellent. Very good. All right. So the last one, the usual way of doing something is called the norm. So all of our societies have the norm, the normal way of doing stuff. Okay. All right. Um, so we will uh, re read through this text, and then we will come back to these words later. Okay, so okay, this does not have any words to add, which is nice. Um, okay, so what I want you guys to do as we are reading this, uh, write down any words that you do not know, and we will uh, look at the word, what the word means. So uh, Adela, could you read this first paragraph here? Okay, being a pilot uh, will come uh, high on the list of the most dream jobs. Free air tra travel, a good salary, sex appeal, and no queue uh, at uh, passport control. Yet before we rush out uh, to learn how to fly, will airlines of the future still need pilots? Computer-operated plans are already used by the military for reconnaissance. The unpiloted uh, plane, like so much technology, initially developed by the military, could one day be used for commercial purpose. Indeed, some airline experts say that pilotless plan could be the norm for commercial flight by uh, 2030. Okay. Now remember, Adela, 
uh, most of these words that have an S at the end, you need to actually pronounce it. So flights, yes. planes. I, uh, um, yes, I, yeah, <laughs> I know you know. So and also this word, we would say A. So it's planes. Planes, planes. pilots. Yeah. Yeah, okay. pilots, planes, Airlines. purposes. So you do you do half of them right, and then half of them you don't. So, but yeah, you know that and you'll you'll keep practicing. So, that all right, person. yeah, Os Osma, can you read the next paragraph? Pilots, passenger planes would have numerous advantage. Okay, advantage as well. Yeah. yeah. Employing pilots isn't it cheap. Most senior captains earn between one hundred eighty dollars and one hundred eighty thousand. Uh, one hundred eighty thousand dollars and twenty uh, fifty <coughs> twenty fifty two hundred fifty two hundred fifty thousand two hundred fifty thousand dollars a year. Overnight stays between flights at classy hotels add more costs, and airlines have to operate costly roster roster system to avoid pilot fatigue. Commercial flights already relay an auto on autopilot for landing in bad weather and to relieve pilots on long flights. Pilot plane can fly higher and longer than one flight and are easily operated on board computers handle the takeoff, flight and landing. A fully automated passenger plane, while expensive to develop, is uh, technically uh, feasible uh, and would save airlines billions a year and make air travel cheaper. Yeah, okay. So this word, I, this is something that is very commonly mispronounced. In English we say ah, automated. 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 So I think it's really common to want to say automated, but it's automated. So autopilot um, and fatigue. Fatigue. All right. Does it? Does everybody know what all these words are? These first two paragraphs. Any questions? How about this word? Um, a reconnaissance. Uh, to see on the air the military places uh, on uh, enemy countries. Uh -huh. I call them spy trips. <laughs> Yes, it's yes. light uh, than a spy. Yeah. <laughs> so, so the consoles is not the same meaning of uh, rec uh, recognition. Uh, no. Mm -hmm. It could rec recognition. I doubt it. <clears throat> it might. It might be. I would need to look at the etymology of the recognition and reconnaissance. But um, it has to do with um, you know military secrets and and so mm -hmm. forth. But if you go on reconnaissance, it's a it's a secret activity and and so forth. More like spies do. Mm -hmm. so. What uh, sorry, Asma? What meaning uh, say you? Recognition. Recognition. She she wanted to know if they're from they have the same root word recognition. And the only the only difference the only thing the similarity they have is the R E C O, actually. So I, I would say not. But um, any other words? Okay. Um, in the next paragraph, um, does everybody know what a costly roster system is? Uh, sorry. A costly roster system. Does everybody know what that is? The, basically, what it is, it's a, a scheduling system. So they they um, 
have to make sure that the pilots are scheduled correctly so that they don't um, get too many back-to-back -back flights. Um, yes, yes. So, but if, if they're already having a fully automated passenger plane, they don't won't need that. <laughs> so I don't think it will make the air travel cheaper because I think that the people are greedy, but that's my opinion. So, all right, let's go to the next paragraph. Uh, Fernando, can you read this one? Oops. Okay. Uh, making um, piloted planes commercially viable would, viable viable would ultimately mean convincing the public more than half of our, of all air travel deaths are due to human error but believing on manned planes will be completely error free is naive naive naive, naive. Naive. Think how how many times computer crash. Most people will feel uneasy if they knew their plane has been flown on pilot. Perhaps we just in, instinctively prefer fellow humans to machines. Okay, excellent. <coughs> okay, for Fernando, this one is unpiloted. Unpiloted, so unpiloted planes. Um, also, like uh, everyone else, be sure that you're pronouncing all the words at the end. So, like for computers crash, and also unmanned. And there was another one. Um, I think it was this one, unpiloted. You didn't pronounce the last part. So this is unmanned instead of unmanned. Unmanned. If there's a T with an ED, then it's unpiloted. But with this one, there's, there's no T here. So it's unmanned. So this E is silent. Okay. Are there any words or phrases in this paragraph? Okay. Next paragraph, Heidi, can you read that paragraph? Passengers. Okay. Passengers may feel less reluctant. Once other forms of automate, automated travel become more common, most of us take automated elevators and more monorails without thinking of any possible safety issues. Many cars have cruise control and driver, driverless trains are becoming widespread. Should problems occur during a flight, having an onboard a standby pilot or controlling a plane via a remote control might ease uh, that doubt. Doubts, yeah, doubts. Very good, and knowing that B is silent. Okay, are there any words or phrases here that you guys do not know? Okay, uh, Jose, could you read the last paragraph? Yes. We, we, Hold the flying in pilotless, pilotless planes in the future. Perhaps, perhaps the prospect of cheaper fares will encourage people to keep flying, <coughs> regardless of who or what is controlling the plane. Okay, so will we all be flying in pilotless? Pilotless. Mm -hmm. Pilotless. So, pilotless planes. Okay. What do you guys think? Now that you've read this article, what do you think it is possible? Would you fly in a pilotless plane now? Adela? Uh, maybe in the future, um, but uh, the close future. <laughs> yeah, but not right now. <laughs> I, I don't like a lot. The, no. the idea. Okay. The idea is not good for me. Okay. I have uh, Ozma, now that you've read this, would you fly in a pilotless plane?
No teacher, no. No, still not. No. Okay. Yeah. Still still not. Not. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and Fernando, I think you said you would anyway, right? Yeah, why not? Time. I ha I have been talking about this with with a friend who is uh, studying to be a pilot. <laughs> mm -hmm. I what does him, he? I told him someday you're gonna get fired. Yeah, you're gonna lose your job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Heidi, what, would you fly now that you've read this article? Would you fly in a pilotless plane? Uh, no pilot, no piloting only landing, landing and uh, taking off. Um, then after that, uh, when uh, the airplane uh, um, uh, reached a certain at, uh, altitude, uh, the right. airplane uh, might be out of control. Mm -hmm. So now it's doing only landing and taking off. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, it will be uh, con uh, computer controlled. Mm -hmm. So you're totally fine with that. Mm, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Jose, how about you? Now that you've read this article, are you more willing to fly in a pilotless plane? I think that uh, nowadays not, but in the future could be possible. I mm -hmm. think that in the future could be possible. And that the plane fly in safety with a pilot. Okay. All right. All right, thank you. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to this uh, vocabulary number two. Let's change words in these sentences using the vocabulary from exercise two. So I said we would be coming back to that those vocabulary words. Um, bear with me while I get them. There are... Um, let's see, bear with me a moment. The words are initially, the norm, classy, rely, relieve, feasible, and reluctant. Um, I will go ahead and write them on the verb link chat. Um, so that, or, or some, we'll have them somewhere that, so you guys can see them. Because it's otherwise it's really hard. So what does re, remind me again, uh, Fernando? What does initially mean? You remember? Fernando is not uh, present. Oh, did Fernando leave? He did. Okay. Okay. Um, so Asma, can you remind me again what what initially means? To start something. Mm -hmm. <coughs> okay. In the beginning of something, okay. Heidi, what does the norm mean? Um, I mean, you usually do something. Okay, it's something that is normal for. What normal. is what is something that is very the norm in in Japan, for example? <laughs> um, normal <in> Japan. <laughs> Yeah, that might not be the norm anywhere, somewhere else. Can you think of something? The norm uh, about uh, what? Because it's, it's uh, depend, no? Uh, mm -hmm. The norm uh, on the flyers mm, to sit, uh, to have the seat belt, to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no? that this is. is that the process you need to to uh, to follow uh, mm -hmm. to be in order to the mm -hmm. more or less I don't yeah uh, okay yeah so the norm is something that everybody does so but I I wonder I'm just thinking of cross culturally is there a norm in one country that is not the norm in another hi there welcome. So, uh, for example, uh, hi, hi, welcome. Nice to see you. Hi, teacher. Nice to see you again. Thank you. Yes. Uh, I'm sorry, my throat hurt me today. Oh, do you have a sore throat? But I hope yes. you get better. Hope you yeah, hope you, you get better. So, side, uh, for example, uh, uh, follow the norm uh, to. Uh, to greet uh, people, no, uh, polite when you meet uh, 
but you are right, no? This is a norm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe, no? Okay. Yep. We, mm -hmm. di we discuss about the, what is the norm. The norm. The norm is to greet somebody when you see them, yes. And so what, what, what is classy? Sophisticated. Sophisticated, yes. So, something that is sophisticated. Okay, and rely. Can anybody think of a synonym for the word rely? Confident. To trust it, someone or something. To, it's, act, uh, to count on someone. To count on someone, to depend on someone. Okay. <clears throat> How about relieve? Everybody remember what... Excuse me? Comfortable. Comfortable? Um, yeah. Well, to make, to make comfortable. Yeah, to make comfortable. Like, I aspirin will relieve you from a headache, for example. So to make comfortable, yes. Feasible. What would feasible mean? Mm, possible to, uh, to do. Something that is possible to do, correct. And reluctant. You do something, you not agree about it totally. Yeah, you're not sure you want to do it. You're, you might be unwilling to do something. You, you will reluct, you reluctantly agree. Okay, so we've got these uh, six sentences, um, and what I'd like you guys, um, each person, to do at least once, is to rewrite one of these sentences. So Adela, could you do number one? Uh, it's easy. Initially, Henry wanted to fly. Fred plans. Yes, initially. Okay, plan. Yeah, yeah. Initially, Henry <coughs> wanted to fly freight planes. Perfect. Okay, Asma, could you try number two? Yes. That medicine you gave me certainly isn't the pain. Okay. Okay, certainly relieved. Relieved the pain. Um, yeah. Uh, relieved the pain. Okay. And number three, um, Jose, can you do that one? Number three, uh, I can trust her to look after my children, rely. Okay, yes, I can rely on her. So the, the word with, with the word rely, it, it has what I call a dependent preposition, so you always have to use the word on with that. So I can rely on her to look after my children. <clears throat> okay, number four, there. Yes, okay. Can you try uh, that one? Which number? Number four. Okay. Your business plan is not realistic, so I have to choose one more. Yeah, one of these words. Well, okay. Um, your business plan. And since you weren't um, here, I might, I we can help you. Okay. Does it, can anybody help him? I don't, I don't have any idea. Feasible? Uh, uh, your business plan is not uh, feasible? Feasible, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah exactly. Okay. So if your business plan, so uh, realistic or feasible? So feasible is, uh, is something whether, whether it can be done or not. So, okay, now let's do this one together, everyone. Surfing the internet at work is very common at some companies. So the norm. the norm, the norm, yeah. Surfing the internet at work is the norm at some companies. Okay, how about at your company? There is surfing the internet the norm at your company. Uh, yes, I guess yes. But yes. sometimes we have enough. Yeah, but for instance, I can't join to classes when I'm at work because I have sometimes a noise. Mhm. Mm you have so much noise I mean, that you can't. Yeah. yeah. Some people yeah. speak with me and I speak with them, so I can't join, but I can listen. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're able to watch, for example, the verbal classes yeah. while you're at work? Wow. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And, um, <clears throat> Jose, how about you in your work? Can you surf the internet at your company? Yes. I think that nowadays it is very normal. Mm -hmm. I think that it is the norm. Mm hmm. Okay, and how about you, Ozma? Can you surf the internet? Yes, yeah, yeah, I can surf the internet. Mm -hmm. Okay, can you, Adela? 
Uh, yes, because I need to search a page, a web page uh, for the student. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. I How normally is in my house. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. How about social networking? Can, does your has your company's blocked things like Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and not those my com company. Not yours. Have uh, Ozma has your company blocked anything? No, no, no. Right no. now, no. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> yeah. 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 Jose, has your company blocked anything? No, my company doesn't block anything. Anything. Okay. And um, third is yours? No. No. It's funny because the American companies do. They block Facebook. They block all the social networking. And <clears throat> and the schools are even more um, uh, tight tightly controlled. There are very few websites that students can go go on at school, which is it's very strange for me after living in Europe. <laughs> so I was like, really? So, okay, number six, um, I am unwilling to get involved with this new project. So what would that be? How would we change this? Reluctant. Reluctant, yes. I am reluctant. I probably will, but I'm reluctant to. <clears throat> so, Adela, your company has Twitter and Facebook? Uh, yes, it has a, a notice, a R RSS channel, and Twitter, and Facebook. Mm -hmm. uh, in the, at the school, same. We have mm -hmm. groups of, uh, the, of the students uh, mm -hmm. uh, to communicate, uh, etc. We use uh, social media. Mm -hmm. Social yeah. network. Yes, no, social networking, yeah. The company I worked at before I started teaching again er, asked us, told us that the only place we can put on the net internet that we worked for that company was on um, LinkedIn. They didn't want to be on any of the other social networking sites, which kind of surprised me. But anyway. Um, Let's, let's go through these discussion questions. Um, there, would you be willing to take a pilotless flight? Um, Everybody else mean, answered that question. Like a plane without any pilot, physical Correct. pilot? Yeah, no. a plane with... No. No. <laughs> no, okay. I, I didn't. No, I don't. I fright. Okay. So you would not be willing. So that's, I think, everybody here. Um, where Fernando said he would be willing, and Heidi said she would be willing, but they're not here anymore. But they were the only ones. Um, so let's go to the next question. Adela, would you like to be a pilot? I don't. Uh, I think so. Uh, maybe is. Uh, I think it's a good. A good job, but uh, a little maybe a stress, a stressful job maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, they are a lot of uh, pro. Uh, good earn. You travel, free travel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> maybe mm -hmm. it's good, but it's not my dream job. It's not your dream job. Okay. No. Okay. Uh, Asma, would you ever want to be a pilot? Uh, when I was younger, maybe, uh, but uh, now, especially this year, after many, uh, many air, uh, many airplane crash, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm happy that uh, I didn't uh, follow my dream. <laughs> okay, okay. So at, especially now, after many airplane crashes, so we yeah. need to make that in into plural. Any many airplane crashes. So so now you're happy. Do you do you guys remember? Speaking of an airplane crash, do you did it did it make the news about the little girl who was seven years old and she was in an airplane crash, and she um, was the only one that survived and walked many many miles to get help. In Malaysia, maybe. Flat? No, it was no. it was in Kentucky. America, yeah? yeah. Did you guys hear about that? Yeah, I think I see some reports on CNN. Uh, yeah. Maybe last month. 
Yeah, yeah, it was a, it was a, either the first part of December or the first part of January, but she was she um, apparent apparently her her mom and dad and sister two sisters and a cousin all all perished all all died in the crash, and she um, walked out of it and walked through very very thick terrain um, to and she found a house in the woods and knocked on the door and a man answered and called the police and and so forth um, but it, it was just totally amazing for a lot of people because she was only seven years old and if she would have and what's amazing about it is if she would have walked the other way she probably would have perished she would have died so she just instinctively went the right way as well so anyway Jose would you like to be a pilot no, I wouldn't uh, like to be a pilot. I don't like uh, to to fly. Uh huh. Okay. So you're not 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 a fan of flying. Okay. There. How about you? Would you like to be a pilot? Ah, uh, no, I don't like because I'm not so friend with flying. Okay. So you're not. Okay. So this next question: Are you scared of flying? Have you had any bad experiences on flights? So. There. How about you? Are you scared of flying? Um. Yes, I can say yeah, but but I don't have a phobia. But mm -hmm. I yeah, I scared. Yeah. Sometimes. So you do get scared. Have you had any bad experiences on flights, or just hearing I, about? No, just because I hearing about this news, so I, I mm -hmm. scared. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. How about you, Jose? Are you scared of flying? Have you had any bad experiences? Yes. Yeah, I am uh, scared uh, of flying, but I don't have any bad experience. But I, I am scared of flying. Mhm. Mm okay. And how about you, um, Asma? Are you scared of flying? Uh, I will check uh, next fly, <laughs> especially after what happened. Uh, uh, on what on Asia airplane? Asiana, yeah, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> so many people, I think, uh, um, will uh, will be afraid uh, about uh, riding plane. Mm -hmm. Okay. So many people would would be afraid of. Of, of flying. Offer. Yeah, offer. Okay. Have you ever had any bad experiences on flights? No, not yet. <laughs> cross no. your finger. <laughs> okay. okay. I have to cross my finger, yeah. Yeah, all right. Adela, how about you? Are you afraid of, um, are you scared of flying? No. Have you had any bad experiences? No, exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, is not uh, for me the best uh, yeah. the plane, uh, but uh, I I take uh, flies uh, uh, w uh, without uh, problems and uh, have a bad bad experience. No, only sometimes uh, unexpectedly movement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so every once in a while you'll have something. Do you, what what do you prefer? Do you prefer short flights or long haul flights? Maybe long flights uh, because it's uh, only. Uh, I think the maybe the planes are uh, safety than the the others uh, because mm -hmm. if uh, it's uh, very short, um, mm -hmm. is. Um, it's difficult uh, to control uh, to the, the wind, etc. Mm -hmm. uh, the the worst uh, fly um, I take is uh, in Cuba mm -hmm. uh, to go to a a beach, and mm -hmm. uh, this is a a plan. Uh, don't uh, work the air air conditioner. Uh, oh, so the, the air conditioner didn't work? Don't work. Oh, wow. Um, the seats are um, broken. 
and uh, uh, this is an airplane, uh, Tupolev, is a Russian um, plane, uh, very, very <laughs> old. Yeah. Uh, it, it's the worst, wow. because uh, uh, people say uh, they are holes uh, to the Russian war. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. It, uh, and was very was a little stressful because uh, uh, the plane uh, was uh, all day uh, uh, um, with the sun uh, um, in, um, to in, to uh, this is warm, no? Because this, mm. uh, in, in the tarmac is uh, uh, all day, and when we finish in the beach. Uh -huh. We return the plan. The plan yes. was uh, the temperature. I don't know what <laughs> was horrible. So the plane was really, really hot because it was in the sun the whole time. And it was, was it a small plane as well? But the 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 travel with the plane, uh, the flight uh, was perfect. Mm, but, okay. <laughs> but the so, condition. <laughs> of it, yeah. Uh, they like to fly a lot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, but that was in that was in Cuba, right? Yes, in Cuba. Yeah. What yeah. What was Cuba like? Because that's a that's a country that uh, Americans can't travel to. So. Uh, I I traveled Cuba uh, twenty in nineteen ninety five. Uh, uh -huh. Twenty years ago. Okay. Okay. So it's probably changed a lot. Uh, yes. Yeah. It's, <laughs> It's very different uh, today, I think. Yeah, I've been very, very intrigued because I, I had a student back in, I think, 2007 go to uh, Cuba for a holiday, and he came back and told us all about it, and I'm like, I want to go, I want to go, because any time they tell, you tell, are told that you can't go somewhere, of course you want to go. <laughs> so, uh, so, Sarah, have you been to any, any place exotic like Cuba or anything like that? Uh, no, teacher Holly, uh, I didn't. I just to fly twice in my life. One mm -hmm. from the south where I live to north and inside mm -hmm. my country. And oh. the second time, yeah, and so the second time when my company sent me to our neighbors, we, we have a neighbor's country called Jordan, mm -hmm. sent, me, sent me there just for mm -hmm. 10 days for work, for business mm -hmm. there. So, mm -hmm. I, yeah, I told you I didn't to fly a lot, just yeah. twice. So that's your that's your whole your experience so far. Yes, right. yes, do yeah. But I, yeah. yeah, I remember so far. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I I remember when I if, when I was flying when I was younger and I flew different places. I thought this would be my last international flight, and then I'd go again and then again, and it totally blew my mind. So, uh, Jose, have you traveled a lot? No. I don't travel. I don't travel. Usually, I don't travel. Uh huh. Yeah. And for me, I I no longer have a passport, so I cannot leave the U.S. until I apply for one. And I I am I don't I'm not scared of flying, but I don't really like to fly anymore because <laughs> I've flown too much. Yeah. So I. I, I like road trips. I like to get in the car and travel. So I want to like see the entire U.S. and Canada, and uh, by driving. So that's that's what I want to do. But yeah, I'm, gonna, uh huh. Okay, sorry. Okay. Go, uh, go I, mean, on. I I want I want to say me too. I don't feel comfortable when I fly because, if, uh -huh. but my car I feel so comfortable because I feel I'm on the ground. Uh -huh. So yeah, yeah, I told you I have a fright, but I don't have a phobia. Yeah, yeah, it's it's like me. It's it's not. I'm not scared of flying. Not don't think I'm gonna die. Don't think I'm gonna be in a crash. I just don't like it. <laughs> yes. So. Yes. So, but but I do like road trips, and and um and I will not hesitate to get into a an airplane to fly anywhere. But I prefer to to do the the driving and stuff like that. So, all right. Um, let's go to this next question. What machines do you rely on at home or at work? How often do they go wrong? So, Adela. Um, 
machine uh, ng uh, sorry uh, maybe gadget or device or no mm -hmm. anything Any. mm. yeah, what's something that you rely on that maybe you cannot live without uh, I think the fridge is the, the best because mm -hmm. uh, ever uh, is good and the washing machine or the mm -hmm. uh, wash Wash dish washes or dish dishwasher, uh huh. On the mixer, I think uh, I don't have more problems with the machine. I don't no. uh, have uh, okay. problems about. Uh, yeah, my dishes are always clean when I have a dishwasher. <laughs> so otherwise, I might let them <laughs> sit overnight. I have uh, to a uh, home. Uh, Home bread machine. Okay, bread maker. Bread maker. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, Jose, how about you? What are some machines that you rely on at home or at work? The microwave, the... Mm -hmm. uh, microwave. Microwave, the... Uh, dish hail, is the name? I think it's dishwasher. Dishwasher? Yeah. Okay, and how about you, Sarah? Can you think of a anything, okay. any machines that you rely on? Okay, you you hear me, Teacher Holly? Yes, I can hear you now. Okay, yeah. Um, I don't sure about what you mean about machine, but I like my computer. I don't like mm -hmm. I don't I can't to to leave it, mm -hmm. and I like my I like my phone. Also, I can't live without them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so exactly. it is so, um, yeah, that two, these two things is so important yeah. to me. Okay, so that's that's what you rely on and depend on. Yeah, I would say that these are pretty much the main ones for all of us. <laughs> so, And for me, a little bit more about my router. I need internet access. <laughs> okay. So, with a computer without my internet, I don't know. <laughs> so, um, I don't know what I'd do with it. So, anyway, all right. Um, Let's. I want to thank you all for your participation in class today, and um, I hope you learned some words and phrases. And uh, it looks like we're out of time. So have a wonderful. I guess it's nighttime for you guys. So sleep well. Yes. <laughs> the last class I had, it was uh, also people from South America, and so I, I was like, have a great evening. <laughs> so, so all right, sleep well, all. Bye. Okay, bye. Bye, guys. Bye, bye. bye.